We all want to look badass. And a cool helmet will do just that. Oh, and it keeps you safe when... Uh... There are many helmets out there, but today we tackle the usual suspects. The Rook Peruna, the lane splitter from Buildwell and the Bell Moto 3 helmet. So this is the Rook Peruna. They are relatively new on the helmet market. They come in a wide range of base colors and are all e-marked the, for the European market. They've got very nice features, like the silver lining, uh, these buttons where you can put on a cap, uh, small little details like here and here and the inside of the helmet is uh, very nice and soft let me check and put it on yeah great just my size oh. yeah uh, the fit is really good the internal parts of the Rook helmet you can take out and the inside I don't know if you can see is the logo very nice detail another good feature of the Rook helmet is that they're very light with only 1150 grams. Next to that, the fitment is very generic, which is nice. Also, the materials feel soft on the face and overall a very good helmet for its price of 250 euros. So this is the Bell Moto 3, a helmet of the brand Bell, which has a pretty cool and long heritage. They come in a wide range of base colors but also in special editions like this one I have here. This one is a collaboration with Fast House. The helmet is dot and E marked for global sales. The finish of the three is the best, but with a weight of 1250 grams, a bit heavier than the Rook helmet. The fitment of the bell is a bit more oval than the Rook, which does work pretty well with Americans and Western European riders. Like I said, the quality of this helmet is outstanding and the looks are as well. They come with a bit higher price range of approximately 300 to 350 euros. If you compare this helmet to the other ones, uh, you can really see that this is a luxury brand. Uh, you can take out all the parts in the helmet. Uh, they're all re removable so you can wash them. Uh, just the finish, the, the lining, the stitching. It's uh, very impressive and an overall cool looking helmet. Last but not least, the lane splitter. Okay, okay, it's not really a retro MX, but still a common alternative for the two mentioned earlier. So the finish of this helmet is uh, nice, but especially nice. It feels a bit basic, and we do prefer the Rook and Bell here. Like the other two, the helmet has an E-mark. However, it is more street than MX, but still a nice all-rounder. There are a ton of vices you can uh, add on. The weight of the helmet is 1500 grams, and which makes it stand out is the dot fader looking ventilation. It goes from the front to the back. Looking at the lane splitter, it has a chin piece, though the inside of the helmet isn't removable. So that's the thing which the Rook and the Bell do have. Give me a beer. So, my advice, when you want to bang for your buck, go Rook. If you like more retro heritage feel, go Bell. However, do you ride long, windy, rainy distances, the build well could be a good alternative. You cannot go wrong with all, so it is your budget, taste and purpose that will tell all. Let us know in the comments which you like best. I hope to see you in the next video.